In this video, I'm going to share with you how Drainy runs the best offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I upload videos every single day to help you become a better player on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball completely for free. And so if you have not subscribed yet, I just want to ask you to do that right now. It's completely free to subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button if you enjoy the video, if you don't like the video, then hit the thumbs down. But just gives me some feedback and lets me know, you know, kind of what we need to do to get better. Now, in today's video, we are talking specifically about a, a breakdown of Drini's Gun Bunch offensive scheme. And so the video or the, the play that we're gonna be taking a really close look at today is the play Flood. Now this is, in my personal opinion, one of his favorite passing concepts. And if you were to ask me, this is the best passing concept in the entire game. Now we're gonna share with you a version of this play that is really, really good, specifically for a situation where you might want to max protect, or basically just have a little bit of extra protection, specifically for going up against something like a five-man pressure from the Mike Blitz 3. So as you can see right here, we've got a five-man pressure and we're gonna play hard flats on the field. And I'm gonna show you how Drini likes to be able to beat this defense. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to block our running back and we want to slide protect away from the running back. As you can see right here, we've blocked our running back and we're going to slide protect our offensive line to the right side of the screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are just going to take that X receiver and we're going to simply put him on a drag or an in route. Drini will oftentimes use an in route, in my personal opinion, an, a drag route works better. Um, but the reason why Drini likes the in route is because of the fact that it basically gets better spacing against zone coverage. So if you're worried that they're gonna be running more zone coverage, then I would recommend an in route. If you're worried about more man coverage, you might wanna go with a drag. So either way, it will work just fine. And what you're gonna see here is with this added protection, um, you see that there's a lot of space and a lot of opportunity for you to be able to hit that out route on the right side of the screen. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, I actually have a complete offensive ebook or offensive guide on the gun bunch, basically literally teaching you step by step how you can master the gun bunch offense. And so if you want to get my complete guide to the gun bunch, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you to be able to pick that up. You can get that offense for just $15. Um, it's very similar to what Drini runs with a couple of other nuances that I don't think he actually uses. But um, it's very, very effective. And so if you, wanted to, if you want to get that guide, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. But basically what we're going to do, again, is we're going to put an in round out there, we're going to block our running back, and then basically slide. Now, uh, one of the other things that you'll notice about um, whenever you're playing somebody that is using a lot of zone drops, what typically happens is whenever there's someone that uses zone drops, it's very, very common that the zone drops will basically drift regardless of whether you have a flat zone or not. And that's why on this play, you see that typically we're gonna leave this fade here. And the reason why we're gonna leave this fade here is if someone gets into more of a cover three and you can kind of have some time in the pocket, you are gonna open up a lot of windows to be able to consistently hit different points of the defense. So you're gonna be able to hit the intermediate middle. You're going to be able to hit the uh, outside edge. That's the beauty of this play. Now, what we have to anticipate is that we oftentimes don't really think about the fact that a lot of times what their user is going to do is he is going to basically um, choose. Is he going to guard the tight end or is he going to guard the out route? That's basically the choice that this route combination is putting the user in. And so as you'll see right here, he decides to go to that little um, in route. And so we can then hit the out route with a low point pass. As you can see right there, very simple. One other little element that you can do to this if you wanted to maybe be a little bit more effective in that underneath type of area, this is one other little step you can take. So the next step that you can take is you can take that X receiver, you're still going to put him on an in route, you're still going to block your running back and slide away from him. But now what you're going to do is you're going to put that circle receiver on a flat route. And the reason why you're going to put the circle receiver on a flat route is because it is going to just help you pull the zones even better. And as you can see, you're able to just simply carve up this very, very effective blitzing concept 
with easy reads. Now, that's how you beat the zone version of this defense. Now, what I want to do um, in the remainder of time that we have together is I want to talk to you about how do you beat the man version. Um, and again, if you want to get the complete gun bunch offense, it shows you all of this. You can get that in the description for just 15 bucks. But here's how we're going to deal with man-to-man -man coverage. So the same exact concept. But what we're going to do is we're going to really work our in routes and out routes. And this is what Drini is really, I think, famous for this year. Um, his ability to just take what the defense gives him is absolutely um, just unbelievable. The way that he is able to consistently move the ball down the field um, is just really, really interesting how good he really is at it. So first and foremost, you have the out route. The second thing that you have against man-to-man -man coverage is this tight end in route. If they try to go user the out route, that tight end in route is very sneaky and it's very underrated because the tight end is a position that cannot get pressed, meaning that if they run man-to-man -man coverage, the tight end cannot get pressed. And so it's very, very likely that the tight end is going to get wide open. We'll show you this example um, one more time here, but basically um, it's gonna look like he might be covered, but basically you're always gonna be able to just low ball it to him just like that, even if they shade underneath. He's in a great position to be very, very effective. And so this passing concept is really a two-man read between the tight end and the slot receiver. And then occasionally, you know, obviously you'll hit the flat or occasionally you'll hit the other guy. But really the two primary routes are the tight end and the slot receiver. You're forcing their user defender to have to choose one of them. And so that is what makes the gun bunch so effective. It always puts the defense in a position where they have to choose one or the other. It's very difficult for the defense to be able to stop the gun bunch. It's probably one of the most unstoppable offenses in Madden history. And so if you want to learn my complete guide to the gun bunch, it actually goes through and walks you through the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset all rolled into one guide for you. You can get that guide for just $15. And I'm going to leave a link for you in the description. There'll be a little description and then there'll be a link to the ebook. So if you want to get that guide for just 15 bucks, it helps the channel out a ton. It helps you support me as a creator and it helps you to, I think, be able to have in your hand one of the best offenses of all time. So if you want to learn that complete offensive guide, again, it is in the description right now. So head on down there and grab that offense.